What up in this John's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. I got something super exciting lined up for you today. If you're a Stark Bark enthusiast, you are going to be in for a treat because today we push the beast to its limits and see how it handles on a pro motocross national track. This is Thunder Valley, aka Lakewood, Colorado, and we're going to be testing it against the new 2025 Honda 450 four stroke. Four strokes have an amazing amount of engine braking, Stark Barks do not. This is basically a test against gas versus electric on a pro motocross track and see if you need it or you don't. So let's get right into it. Hit that like button, subscribe button, baby. All right, so first up, we're going to test the Stark Vark and its acceleration and just how of a beast it is here at Lakewood. It's very bumpy here, and I would want to see if the Stark Vark can even compete in such a pro motocross level um, and acceleration-wise. So we're going to really see, and I already started off with not even showing you guys the speed and talking about how, how much acceleration and power this thing has, but... Let's go ahead and get some laps down here at Lakewood. This thing is absolutely insane. And you can kind of just feel automatically the flow and energy through the whole bike. Like literally staying super planted and almost 60 miles per hour, dude. And Lakewood has like a lot of, a lot of elevation changes. Um, it shows a lot of differences in like, you know, being able to give a lot of torque to the back wheel. And if that's what literally what the Stark Vark really specializes in is just being able to give as much torque as you want it to be in acceleration, Man, the sky's the limit, dude. As long as you can kind of find the way to wick this bike out and really keep up your momentum, that's huge in MX bikes. Already, dude. Oh my goodness. Being able to just zoom down there. Uh, the biggest thing is we just don't have engine braking, so we're just gonna have to really figure out where our, our spots are to actually understand that we need to actually start braking pretty early. But man, literally got on the brake or on the gas pretty late there, and the torque was absolutely insane down this hill oh my god oh my god oh, oh. yikes and that's kind of like where we're really testing out to see how far we can stay wicked before it really turns into a <laughs> into an engine braking or slowing down game of this bike but i want to give at least three good laps of really trying to show the speed and the innovation that they have done with this bike and really show how wicked you can get and how fun it is i would really love to see a championship series or a pro series on this bike and see if it could just come to mx bikes in a good manner and not a bad manner but i mean really realistically trying to qualify for on stark vargs on this on these tracks would be absolutely crazy whether it be supercross or motocross but man dude top speed i would have to say if i was in a straight line i think i've gotten this bike up to 80 miles per hour but i think if realistically if you go on alpha mode you can get this thing up to like 110 <laughs> when do you ever need 110 miles on a freaking motocross track probably never right but the biggest thing is that this bike has a lot of acceleration so you can use acceleration and and torque to the back wheel to your advantage of keeping this bike literally at top speed almost i would say a good I guess power band for yourself to say that you're at a 450 level i don't i wouldn't even really know but holy smokes gotta be careful of over jumping stuff just because how much power you do have there we go there we go nice connect it's gotta slow her down sometimes i can't i can't i can't rely on engine braking so i really gotta focus on trying to get as much as my brakes involved without kind of over you know going over the handlebars but we have been able to say a consistent, I mean consistent situation here. See right here, scrub. That was nice. That was really good. I really enjoy how nimble, light, and the bike is and keeping up power everywhere. And honestly, it doesn't clip bars through situations like being on a four stroke or anything like that on the OEM pack. Like this bike is able to turn as much as it wants and it does not clip through these tight ruts like right being right here. Like, not at all. You just got to be able to get yourself to connect, and that's huge. Come on, baby. You. There we go. Zooming. Zooming. Man, this is like the quickest test ever, dude. <laughs> I'm not even... Oh, crap. I thought that SpongeBob was going to get me. Yeah, you can see, literally, I've been keeping up my momentum and acceleration everywhere. Barely want to be on the throttle. I mean, on the brake. Uh, but you have to brake up just a bit to let the bike flow because there is no such thing as engine braking good pro right there and the bike's quiet dude like a pro and con would have to say like bike is quiet doesn't have to i don't have to worry about fuel i can just literally kind of push i don't have to worry about being loud on the on the bike 
I'm just wide open, dude. It's super fun, super nimble. That's a good pro. Con would have to be engine braking for sure. That's my biggest con to the bike is just no engine braking. So I really have to start planning to slow down um, in advance or like plan my next move in advance. You have to set yourself up early in order for yourself to hit certain situations. But holy smokes. Oh no, we went off the <laughs> we went off just a bit, dude. And I would love to see what my times are. I want to see if I can go one more, but I want to see because this is what already lap three, right? Come on, come on, yes. I wonder what my ideal lap would be. I think I was off the track a little bit. I wonder if any of my stuff would count. But realistically, like you can see how whipped you can stay on this bike without having too much trouble dude i think a beginner could actually get on top of this bro yo this is insane so first lap not counting second lap a little bit of mistakes dude you can literally see right here i ran a two minute basically almost a two minute flat i know anything two minute like two minute to under like one anywhere within that time like i don't think this is a, an amazing lap but i don't think it was a bad lap but the stark bark literally of me actually just getting on for three laps and able to run that was absolutely insane all right now we're on the honda 450 and we're gonna see if this thing can literally get anywhere close to that two minute mark. Oh, uh, that, that Stark Park was very nimble, very light, and just like literally wide open everywhere. I, I did not expect it to actually run through half these bumps like that. So maybe there is a future for the Stark Park. But pro, we can say now that the 450s, four, I mean, the stro four strokes in general have is the engine braking. They have really good engine braking. A con would be how heavy the bikes are um, and stuff like that. So it kind of weighs down. A little bit of the bike and power but i think honestly we can still wield it 450s have more than enough power and that first lap is not going to do us any justice we have already messed up so unfortunate i guess we'll go around and give this as a sight lap just to get the feel of the bike under us if i really had to think about it man dude i really wish that we could put the stark varks in a test to where it would compete against the four strokes i genuinely don't think it would outbeat a four stroke just on how like many places on the track it would actually i guess like four strokes actually do better than a stark bark you know engine braking is always the biggest thing you don't have that you have to set yourself up so much earlier and you could be slowing up a potential other four stroke rider if you're on a stark bark trying to slow down for certain spots but i don't know i guess they all definitely need their own class i don't think you could put a an electric bike in the same class as a 450 i hope not i don't know we'll see i know you can make a stark bark as a 250 as well which is kind of crazy so just knowing that you can be able to switch on and off like what power you want to the back of the wheel is kind of cool. Oh no! Please save it! I want at least something to give me an ideal time. Something to give me an ideal time towards that freaking two minute. That two minute I ran, dude, that was deadly. I think I can salvage, man. Just keep up on the speed. Keep up on what I'm doing. Don't over-exaggerate. Don't do too much. So let the bike flow because right now i'm in first gear i'm already at like 45 miles per hour so it's got to use the use the power to my advantage and the engine braking like right there literally engine braking i think i barely like hit the brake like once good power right here in a short amount of distance able to get over that easy peasy nice 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 let's go don't fail me, don't fail me, don't fail me down the hill, don't fail me down the hill. Nice. That was super sketchy. Super sketchy. Almost wheelied it right there too. That would have been deadly. I just don't want to mess up. I want to finish this lap in a good good manner. At least get myself in a starting point. I think when you really kind of not necessarily ride this bike on easy, like being easy or being light on it, but give it a good still push, but set yourself up for certain situations you can actually ride pretty okay that's the biggest thing you just gotta like literally take it a little bit more calmer in some of these corners and set yourself up just get off the throttle for a quick second let yourself be able to connect in the rut and then you should be able to drive back out right like right there literally just let off the throttle for just a second we're straight take it nice and easy and same thing here I'm literally still at 40 miles per hour right there, so I don't need to be bothered as if like I'm in 20 miles per hour. But we're still keeping up a lot of pace. Let's go up to third gear up this hill. A lot of torque to the back wheel, and I'll go ahead and slow down about right there so I can connect. Huge. First gear. 
Nice inside. Here we go, baby. Honestly, so far, I still enjoyed the Stark Vark more than I enjoyed the 450 right now. I It really just blew me surprised how much acceleration and, and man, a, of a beast of a bike it was. Not saying this isn't a beast, dude. This thing can get, I know this thing can get like 80 miles per hour as well. It's just harder to wield, I guess, like the torque of the of the bike. I just feel like I have like a different torque setting on that Stark Vark to where it's like, it's not, it's not an ideal 450 torque, you know? It's kind of, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that, dude. It's kind of weird. I will say the smoother throttle control on four strokes are better. You really have to be careful of the acceleration in the, in the spin wheel, the, the, the wheel spin on a Stark Varg, which I really didn't get. I think I had a really good setup on it, so I really don't see too much wheel spin on this. This actually has like consistent smooth throttle on it, so that's also a plus. I'm kind of moving right now, I can't lie. Like if I can finish this dude, it's going to be sick. I don't know what this lap will be, but we're kind of... No! Oh, dude, I thought I was done for. Thought that was done for, baby. Let's see what's up, dude. That's the end of it. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. See what our ideal lap was. Wow. Wait a second. I gotta, I gotta compare this. Hold on. We just ran another two, two minute. But holy smokes! Basically, that Stark Vark was riding the exact same speed as I basically was on a 450. Dang, I like that, dude. That's a good comparison. I think Stark Vark can compete, dude. We should definitely put a series out there for Stark Vargs, and I guess it would be for 450 wise. But let me know how you guys like this video. Hit that like button, subscribe button if this was a good test to see if you would want to ride a Stark Vark or if it's even viable for us to create a series in MX bikes. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Pop, 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 pop